Welcome to our channel. I'm Dr. Katz. Today I would like to focus on common misconceptions when it comes to vaginismus treatment. Many times patients come to us and report that they were told by various clinicians not to do the following things I will mention shortly, only for us to raise an eyebrow and say, why? That has nothing to do with the vagina or with vaginismus. For example, the treatment will be painful. Not necessarily. It will be strange. It will be introducing to new sensations, but not necessarily painful. Certainly not to a level that would prevent a woman from seeking treatment. Another entry is it will take months to cure. Some patients are being told it will take years, if any. Again, no. In the hands of a clinician who knows what to do, it is just a matter of so many sessions. It is impossible to predict how many treatment sessions are necessary. Again, we differ with this opinion. Having treated nearly 2,000 vaginismus cases to date, we have very, very clear, tight statistics, and we know exactly how many sessions it takes. You can check our statistics on our website at womentc.com. Another one is you have to get aroused for the treatment to work. Absolutely wrong. The vagina should work regardless of sexual arousal. What a shame to put a woman into such a demanding activity. It has nothing to do with the vagina. The vagina has to work regardless of sexual arousal. Do we have to get aroused to put a tampon in or to have a gyno exam? I don't think so. How about Kegel exercises are a must? No, they're not. The vagina should work regardless. Kegel exercises are reserved for cases of weakness or other medical causes, but not for vaginismus. On the contrary, the woman with vaginismus has very strong pelvic floor muscles. Another fallacy is you need to keep a dilator into vagina for so many minutes or hours. Why? Nothing in the vagina stays in there. The vagina is a passageway from the outside world to the inside. No, you don't need to keep the vagina occupied with dilators, but you need to focus on putting them in and out. That will be a lot more focused on vaginismus treatment. How about you have to wiggle the dilator when inserted? Does the penis wiggle when it gets in? No, it does not. Neither does gyno exam, nor does tampons. Not a good idea. How about you need to use a mirror for penetration? We strongly urge women not to use a mirror. We are built to know our vagina inherently by feel and by sense. Or else how would a blind woman manage life? How would a woman manage her vagina in the dark? Had the vagina needed to be seen, it would have been created in an area where we could see it. Don't look at the mirror. This is medicalizing something that's not necessary. How about you have to look at the vagina for when you insert something in you. Well, no. We can get penetration into us without looking. How about I need to get the partner's finger involved? Vaginismus can be treated regardless of having or not having a partner. Vaginismus is about the relationship the woman does not have with her vagina. This is about a panic in the vagina, not about a partner. How about you need to relax and breathe and focus and chill before you put anything inside you? No, you do not. The vagina has to operate whenever it needs to work. But because vaginismus is a psychosomatic condition, there is anxiety and there is a focus on relaxing. But it has to be done in a whole different way than putting a pattern in place of relaxation and chilling, you'll never be able to get a gyno exam. You'll never be able to have an intercourse that's just fun and spontaneous if there has to be a pattern of relaxing. How about you, can, you cannot do certain sports? You cannot go swimming. Exercising is not advisable. Walk, too sl walk slow, walk fast, don't cross your legs. No, if that were the cause, 
then we would have been extinct because cave women would not have been able to procreate. The vagina should work regardless of physical activity. And tying physical restrictions like this to a woman's life only makes her feel sadder, more inadequate, and for the vaginismus to be much more meaningful. How about masturbation is important, or it's about sex, goes back with the comment about have to be aroused that mentioned before. Again, no. Vaginismus treatment has nothing to do with sexual arousal, absolutely nothing to do with managing and the curing the anxiety that's associated with vaginal penetration, not with arousal. How about do dilator standing up? The position doesn't matter. The vagina does not have a gyroscope. The vagina does not have a GPS. It should work anywhere, anytime, any place if the woman says, yes, let's do it. And the final note is, there is no cure. You have to learn to live with vaginismus. A common advice women are being given, which is the saddest thing of all, to think that you cannot be cured, to think that you cannot fulfill your life's dreams, to think that you cannot feel normal woman. That's a terrible death sentence. Please, vaginismus is curable. It has nothing to do with sex. It has to do with the vagina in panic. In the hands of a clinician who knows how to treat, it should take only so many sessions and you should be good to go. You may still have to manage your anxiety thereafter and you should be given guidance about that so it will not morph or remain in other aspects of your life, but the vagina should be free from that. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like us. Thank you and appreciate your interest.